In 2018-19, the Modi government snooped on Rahul Gandhi. Why? Because the Congress leader was leading the charge against the Modi government. The timing is very important since it was the run-up to the 2019 Lok Sabha elections. His aides Alankar Savai and Sachin Rao were also snooped upon during the same period. Around the same time, Ashok Lavasa and Jagdeep Chokar were also placed on a snoop list. Why? Ashok Lavasa was the only member of the three-member election commission committee to rule that Prime Minister Narendra Modi had violated the model code of conduct while campaigning for the 2019 general elections. Chokar too flagged Modi ji for election code violations. In 2019, another scandal was breaking and it turns out Pegasus was entrenched deeply in that too. The Karnataka horse trading scandal. Why? To topple the elected Congress JDS government, PM Modi used Pegasus to tap the phones of Venkatesh, the PA of the former Chief Minister of Karnataka Shri Siddaramaiah, of Satish, PA of then CM HD Kumar Swami, and the phone of Manjunath, the security officer of former Prime Minister Shri HD Deve Gowda. In 2019, a woman who accused Chief Justice of India Ranjan Gogoi of sexual harassment was also targeted. Eleven phone numbers belonging to her and her family were found in the Pegasus project list. Prashant Kishore, election strategist, was targeted in 2018, 2019, and 2021. Why? It was the run-up to Lok Sabha and Bengal elections. He was targeted in June and July this year. Again, the timing is important. During this period, he was holding meetings with senior opposition leaders. What has become abundantly clear from the list of persons targeted and the timings is that the Modi government used Pegasus spyware to further their own tyrannical interests at the cost of nation's democracy, security, and institutional integrity. There must be an independent judicial inquiry headed by the Supreme Court, and Amit Shah must resign immediately.